Hello everyone, it's Hindash. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it's gonna be a full on holiday glam look. We're going all out. Um, I'm very inspired by the 80s and 90s. So this look is kind of a very dramatic, glamorous, bold <laughs> look of that time. I mean, my take of that time. I'm just gonna put Cosmo down because he's not trained for the camera. And Lana is back with me for today's video. So I wanted this look to have a lot of gold, a lot of black, and I use a bunch of new products from Clarins, which I've discovered the range and I'm loving. I really love how this look turned out. And we have a lot of bold jewelry, which I found to be so fun. I've never really kind of styled a shoot before, so this was really fun for me. <laughs> and as always, I'm gonna leave the links to all the products in the description box below so you can shop the jewelry as well. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Lana and the jewelry in this shoot is actually sponsored by Farfetch, which is so exciting because I never really do anything like this. And I have a discount code for the first time. I'll list all the pieces down below and you can shop them at a 10% discount. And yeah, let's continue. So we're starting off with skincare because Lana is very dry and sensitive. So I always like to kind of focus on skincare whenever I'm shooting with her and to kind of protect her skin and make sure that Everything that I'm putting on top of it is going to look beautiful. So I'm starting off with the Clarins Soothing Toning Lotion because again, she's sensitive, she's dry. So this is gonna refresh her skin and just make everything sink in. And what I loved about this video is that everything really worked well for her skin. Everything sat beautifully on top of one another. Next, I'm gonna be taking this Nutri Lumiere, which is a renewing treatment essence to kind of add another layer of light hydration before going into the rest of the products. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be tapping that into the skin and just let it sink in. And again, this is going to help whatever product I put next really sink into the skin. For serum, I'm going to be using the Clarins Double Serum, which I've heard a lot about. It feels kind of like a gel oil, but very light. It sinks in, but it is very nourishing. So this worked perfectly for her skin type as well. I've used this as well and I'm combination oily and I feel like a little goes a long way and it just makes your skin feel really nice and it just brightens. For eye cream, I'm gonna be taking the Clarence Total Eye Lift, which is one of my favorites. I use it every day. It's very light, it's very nourishing and makeup works beautifully on top of it. I basically tap it on and then whatever is left, I just go on my brow bone and between my brows as well. You can bring it down if you want to and just pat that in gently. For a moisturizer, I'm gonna be taking the Clarins Super Restorative Day Cream, and I'm gonna be applying that all over her skin and neck, don't forget the neck. With all the products, actually, I brought it down to the neck as well, apart from the eye cream. And with the cream, I always love to massage it into the skin and get that blood circulation going and just, you know, waking up the skin, getting it ready for makeup and making my model feel great because she's gonna look great. <laughs> So just really taking the time to pamper Lana at this step. And to hydrate her lips, I'm gonna be taking the Clarence Lip Comfort Oil and just applying a really nice, generous layer all over the lips. For primer, I'm gonna be taking the Clarence Beauty Flash Balm, and this is actually one of the oldest products that I remember using, and I love it. I found out about this through Lisa Eldridge on YouTube way back, way back. <laughs> And it's basically a mask, but you can use it as a primer if you put a thin layer and you don't really have to rub it in a lot. It tightens the skin, it brightens, and just makeup sits really, really well on top of it. I've used this on myself, my sister has used it, and I'm so glad I kind of rediscovered it again and it's going to be staying in my kit. For foundation, I'm gonna be trying the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. This is the long wearing hydrating formula and it is a matte foundation. It's very velvety, it kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels very light on the skin, but it doesn't emphasize any dryness because Lana does have dry skin. And yes, we did do a lot of great skin prep, but it usually does show on Lana when I use a very matte foundation. But this went on like silk and we were both very, very impressed. And again, I'm buffing the foundation in, in very thin layers as always. I like to work my way into the foundation and not use a lot, just kind of use what I need and then let the concealer do all the work where I need coverage. And don't forget to always bring that down the neck as well. 
And when I get to the forehead, I'm gonna use very little product because I don't want a lot of build up there because that's where you kind of have more expression lines and that's where a lot of movement is happening. For concealer, I'm gonna be taking the Clarence Everlasting Concealer and again, this matches the foundation. I'm using two shades, one that closely matches her skin tone and one that's more brightening. And I'm kind of mixing the two and working around the shades as I go. So what I'm gonna be doing now is highlighting with this concealer. So I'm putting it in areas where I wanna bring forward and brighten. So just in any hollow areas and the center of the face, really focusing it on the center points of the face. And then taking a bit of that on the jawline to highlight that and bring that forward. And I'm gonna be blending everything with a damp beauty blender. And this concealer is very lightweight and it's not full, full coverage, but it is very fresh, if that makes sense. It is a medium coverage concealer, but it is very easy to build up and that's what I do in some areas. And again, because this concealer is a light concealer, I'm going to be tapping that in. I don't wanna rub the concealer away and move the foundation. So just very light tapping motions with your beauty blender. And now, as you can see, I'm taking that lighter shade alone and just concentrating it on the areas where I want to highlight even more and very gently tapping that in so I don't lose a lot of that brightness. But of course, blend it in because you don't want any harsh lines. And that is the concealer done. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to cream blush and I'm gonna be taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in In The Nude. And I love to apply cream blush on the back of my hand and then work my foundation brush into it because that's gonna mix the blush with the foundation color, which is obviously your skin tone color. So it's gonna go on more evenly and it's gonna have that beautiful blend and you're not gonna get any patchiness or harsh lines. So with your foundation brush, or if you do foundation with a sponge, you wanna use that to kind of distribute that blend and for application, but I prefer brushes. And it also helps if you tap and push that into the skin because it's gonna blend that for you. For contour, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in Mocha. I don't think I ever not use this on Lana whenever I do her makeup. We always do contour with Mocha. And I'm going to take that on the tip of the nose, the top lip, and the chin. And then just very lightly all around the forehead. And I'm going to blend that in with my brush and tap any edges with the Beauty Blender. And again, same thing. You want to blend everything with your foundation brush because it already has product in it. So it's going to just seamlessly blend everything into your skin and look perfect. Now we're gonna get a bit closer because we're going to be working on the eyes and I want you to see what we're doing more clearly. I'm taking a brown pencil. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Dimensional Dark Brown because I don't know if I wanna do a warm brown or an ashy one. So this one is pretty neutral so I can kind of control where the color is going to end up with what shadow I put on top basically. Does that make sense? <laughs> Okay, so the shape that I'm going for today with my eyeshadow and the eyes is going to be a very angled liner that's kind of a straight edge. There are no curves and we're not blending much of the edges. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing strokes and pushing that into the eye and kind of mapping out the shape of the eye that I want. So very geometric is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and she's going to take that on the inside of her eye as well. Now I'm going to be taking a brown shadow and just stamping that on top of it and pushing and blending that towards the center of the lid. So as you can see, we're not blending in the edges. I want that very triangular liner. For a base, I'm gonna be taking the MAC Paint Pot in Indian Wood. And I feel like this is the perfect base color for a gold because it is a neutral antique gold. It's not very yellow, it's not very bronze and you kind of get to control what color you get by what shadow you're putting on top of this. I'm also going to be taking a bronze on the lower lashes, and this is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Immortal, and I feel like that'll add a beautiful dimension next to the matte brown. And just blend that in and push it into the lashes as well. For gold, I was looking through my collection and I was excited to use this. This is the Victoria Beckham Smoky Eye Brick in the shade Silk. And that gold is the perfect gold to match the jewelry and match the look. And I'm basically putting that all over the lid where I've done the cream shadow and on the lower lid in the center and pushing that towards a tear duct. And I just love how this looked. For gel liner, I'm taking the Clarence Gel Eyeliner in Waterproof Black. And I'm basically going to be tracing the shape that I did. 
So keeping it very geometric and kind of doing the same thing I did with the brown pencil underneath, but I'm doing that on top to kind of frame everything. So I wanted to gradiate from a pitch black to a brown, bronze, and gold. And doing that with a tiny liner brush gives me that definition, and then I'm going to be switching over to a pencil brush and smudging that liner in and smoking it. So we get that beautiful intense black that gradiates. And I'm going to be doing the same with the inner corners. I want that really sharp point, and I feel like that's going to add a lot of drama and give it that 80s, 90s edge where it's just dramatic. <laughs> then I'm going to be zooming out and I'm going to be adding this beautiful chunky chain necklace and I feel like once I start adding things I can kind of figure out what lip I want to go for and what to add. Next I'm going to be contouring with powder and basically setting everything we've done with cream and this is the Kevin Aquan the Sculpting Powder in Medium and just reinforcing that contour where it kind of got blended and taking a bit of that around the lips as well. I'm also going to be setting the blush and I'm using the Clarence blush in Cheeky Coral and Cheeky Peach. And the 80s was all about blush, but I'm not going pink. <laughs> I'm going more of a peach and kind of intensifying that peach as I go. You can totally skip blush for this. I think it's going to look beautiful with just a contour or a bit of a bronzer, but I just wanted to take it there because why not? For lip liner, I decided to go with my trick of using the Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil in True Red, which, my god, I mean, this makes your lips look so huge. If you use a brow pencil that's for redheads, it's genius. I mean, I kind of, I was thinking what kind of color would match lips best. And a brow pencil made sense because it has a bit of that ashy tones, but it is red for redheads. I don't know. I mean, I haven't stopped using this trick since. And because I wanted to keep that overlined 90s vibe, I mean, we're spilling into the 90s here, so it's 80s and 90s, <laughs> I'm doing a bit of a gloss on top. A lot of gloss, actually. And this just gives us that icy, multidimensional pout. For highlighter, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty highlighter in Mean Money and Hustle Baby, one of my favorites. And I'm just going over the high points on the tip of the nose, the bridge of the nose, the chin, and of course, the cheekbones. And then taking a bit of that gold again and just sweeping it over for that extra final touch. And that is it for the first look with the nude lip. I love this. I mean, it's so extra and so dramatic I, I, with the hair and with the jewels. But this is exactly what I envisioned for like an 80s holiday. And I love the 80s. If you guys want to know one fact about me is that I love the 80s and 90s. But everything about the 80s is just perfect. And again, I'm going to be leaving everything in the description box below, but let's move on to a more colorful lip and discover that option. <laughs> I'm going to be taking the Lisa Eldridge lipstick in Velvet Morning, and we were really struggling with what color to go for. We wanted to do a pink, but I hate pink. <laughs> and <laughs> then I really wanted to go for a dark, dark, dark red, which I kind of regret now a bit because I really wish we did a burgundy. But I love, love this because it reminds me of Elizabeth Taylor. She kind of did that really bright poppy red. And that was the inspiration. So we're taking that all over the lips with a lip brush to keep it blurred and diffused. And then I'm going to be defining everything with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Perpetual Fire. And just really perfect all these edges. And that is the final look. Now, this really took it to that 80s feel, and I'm in love. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these intense kind of, the not theater, not theatrical. This isn't theatrical, but you know what I mean. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very soon. Have a happy holiday, and take care. Bye.